Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on how and why to create a credit memo. All right, so I see this situation a lot with uh, clients and others that use QuickBooks, and they need to issue some kind of credit or some kind of refund to a customer, but they record it wrong. So I wanna show you in this video how to record this correctly. Now, typically what happens is, uh, this will be like an, in an invoice situation where you are invoicing customers, and for whatever reason, the customer calls, uh, maybe it was billed wrong, or maybe you know, something got messed up on the work, and you issue a credit, you, you know, the customer calls are upset, and you say, hey, I'm gonna credit you, you know, 100 bucks on this invoice, or I'll send you a refund for $100. Okay, and I wanna show you how to do this correctly, because typically, what people will do is if they, uh, you know, issue a credit to a customer, they will simply go in and change the original invoice. You do not want to do that. All right, so as an example, you send an invoice for $1,000 to a customer. They call, they complain about something. You say, hey, I'll give you a credit of $100. You change the original invoice to $900 and then just send them an updated invoice. You do not want to do it that way. You want to follow the process that I'm going to talk about in this video. Okay, so if we have this situation, whatever it is, we have to give a credit memo to the customer. The easiest way is you're going to see on the home screen here, refunds and credits. So we're going to click on this and it's going to bring up a credit memo. All right. So we want to choose whatever customer this is. So let's say that this is uh, Christy Abercrombie family room. Uh, you're going to put in the class for whatever this is. We're going to say this is a remodel. All right. So on this form, what you're simply going to do is it looks like all the other forms in QuickBooks for like an invoice uh, or a sales receipt. You're going to pick the item. All right. So let's say that this was, you know, something got messed up on the concrete slab uh, and we need to give them a credit of, you know, $200, let's say. Uh, you don't necessarily need to fill in the quantity. It just depends on what the item is. All right. So if, it could be a quantity depending on what item you are giving a credit for. So we're going to say in this case, this is $200. So you can just change it right on the form. And you'll see here we have remaining credit, $200. There's no tax on this particular item. You can put in a customer message and you can also put in a memo if you like. All right. So now. What's going to happen is when we hit save and close, it's going to save it and then it's going to ask you, uh, this credit memo refund has a remaining balance that you may use. What would you like to do with this credit? So you have three options. You can retain as an available credit. So if the customer says, you know what, just put it on my account if you have an ongoing relationship with them or there's going to be future billings and they say, just leave it as a credit and use it on the next invoice. All right, so the next time you create an invoice, you can apply this credit and reduce that balance. That's one option. Second one is to give a refund. So you can simply give a refund. Uh, it will create a check in QuickBooks and you can, you know, print that check, handwrite, whatever you do, and send that to the customer. Or you can apply it to an outstanding invoice that you have right now. All right, so the customer say, may say, hey, you know what, I have this other invoice out there, just apply it to that invoice. So you can do that as well. All right, so uh, retain as an available credit, it's just gonna close it. If I say, I'm gonna walk through and say, hey, let's give a refund, you can say click, and a re it's gonna bring up this screen where you're gonna say, you know, issue this refund via check. Uh, if you're running it through a credit card machine, you can change that to a credit card. Uh, let's see. If you're going to print the check, you leave it as to be printed. Otherwise, if you're going to handwrite the check, then you would uncheck this and put in the check number that you're going to handwrite. All right, so let, let me cancel this. Uh, so those are your options on giving a credit memo uh, or to issue a credit memo. You want to make sure you follow this process when you do give a credit or a refund to a customer so that it properly records this information in QuickBooks. Any questions whatsoever, leave a comment on the video. Uh, also, head over to the QuickBooks University. would love to show you a lot of these things uh, within the full training of QuickBooks, as well as you know, people have all these little nuances in their particular company file. So as a member of the QuickBooks University, I answer those questions for you. Head over there now, qbuniversity.org.